pagans is spawning into me making a tutorial on how to make custom function files and if you don't know what function files are they basically just allow you to run a line of commands from a text file up to 10,000 commands so you can run 10,000 commands just from one single function file and this is really useful for map makers or if you like making add-ons for example some of the add-ons that I've made uh, use up to 8,000 different commands so if I wanted to do so if I want to recreate those using only command blocks, I, I would have to set up over 8,000 commands just to do the same thing that I could do with only one command. And let me show you some examples of what you could do with this. And th these are very simple examples. And if enough people are interested in this, I'll do another part where I'll show you how to do more advanced things. But let me show you a few things. So, so for example, this is a simple welcome message. If I step on this pressure plate, it's, it shows a title a subtitle and an action bar and it also summons in a firework and this is very simple but to set this up with just commands it takes four different command blocks to set this very simple thing up but if you use the function file it could all be run from one just from one command and you could also there's a few ways you could activate the function files you could also activate them from the text bar so if i typed in function and then welcome it will do the exact same thing only one command and this is another example, so if you're making like a kit PvP map or an adventure map where you want to give someone a kit, for this I made it so if you step on this pressure plate, it gives you a full diamond kit, uh, full, full diamond armor and shield and a sword and a few other items. But to set this up, I had to set up 12 different command blocks. So, and this also takes up a lot of room. And if I wanted to move this, this would be a really time consuming and so if I wanted to set it up over here or just add more kits you know it will it will take up a lot of room and a lot of different commands but using a function file I could do the exact same thing and it only requires one command and it's the exact same thing it gives me a full diamond armor and weapons and other items if I wanted to set this up somewhere else all I would have to do is just place a command block and only one command and then just type in the function And like I said, you could also activate it from the text bar and it will do the exact same thing. Another thing you could do with this is that you could ban items. So for example, here I set up a few commands that will ban all these items. These are used for duping. So if I, so if I activate these commands and then I try to put any of these in my inventory, they would just instantly disappear. This is good if you're trying to make a realm or something and you want to ban specific items. But to ban each item, you have to set up a command for every item. And depending on how many items you want to ban, you know, you, you would have to set up a different command. And like I said, these take up a lot of room and, and they could cause a lot of lag if you have too many commands. But you could also set up the exact same thing using a function file. And all you have to type in is just a function inside the command block. And it will do the exact same thing. So if I try to put up any of these items in my inventory, the ones that I banned, they would instantly disappear. And let me show you the last example. This one is just to summon in mobs. It's a very simple command, but if you wanted to summon in different mobs, you would have to set up a bunch of different commands just to, just to do a very simple thing. For example, if I press this, summons in all these mobs. Uh, which is a very simple thing to do, but it requires a lot of different commands. Or I could do the exact same thing, but only using one function file. If I press this and then summons in all of these with uh, with only one command. And like I said, you could do up to 10,000 different commands from one function file. Using functions is a lot more simple than just setting up a few hundred commands. And this tutorial will be on Windows 10 since it's a lot simpler. And let me show you how to make your own custom functions. So once you're on your computer, the first thing you want to do is download Bridge. If you don't know what Bridge is, it's an add-on maker. So if you're new to making add-ons, I would suggest downloading it since it makes making add-ons a lot more simple. It will create a lot of the files and folders for you. So you don't really have to worry about that. And once you have Bridge downloaded, the first thing you want to do is go here where it says New Project. And you want to give your project a name and a description. For the name, you call it whatever you want same for the description so for the name I'm just going to call it functions and then test 
And for the description, same thing. I'm just going to put my name here, but it could be whatever you want. Once you give it a name and the description, you just want to hit create. Once you hit create, Bridge will create a behavior pack for you and it will create a, a few of the folders and files for you. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is give your behavior pack a name and the description. So you go here where it says header and then go here where it says name and then pack name. And here's where you name your behavior pack. So you can give it whatever name you want. I'm just going to call it the same as the project. So functions test and then hit enter. And then for the description, same thing again. You just want to give it a description. The description could be anything you want. I'm just going to put my name on it. And then you want to save it. So you go file and then save file. And then you're done with this. You don't really have to worry about this anymore. And to create a function file, the first thing you want to do is go here where it says new file. Go down and look for this icon. It's going to say functions. Click on it. And you want to give your functions a name. Uh, the name could be anything you want, but make sure whatever name you give it that you remember the name because when you want to activate the functions, you're going to have to use the name you gave it here. And for the first one, I'm just going to show you how to do a simple title command. So it's, I'm just going to call it message. And then hit create. Once you hit create, Bridge will automatically make the function file for you. And this, where, this is the folder where it's at. And here you can start typing in whatever commands you want. Uh, like I said, you could do up to 10,000 different commands inside of one function file. So if you start typing in a command, another cool feature that Bridge has is that it will auto it will help you auto complete the command. So if I start if I want to do a title command, if I start typing in title, it will it will give me a few options of what I could type in. So I could either just click on it or just type in title. And then it will keep help giving you suggestions of what you could type in next. Uh, so it's going to be title, add P, and then title again. And then after this, you type in whatever message you want. So I'm just going to have it say welcome. And if I wanted to add a subtitle to this, I could just type in title, add P, subtitle, and then Again, you can type in whatever message you want here. I'm just going to have it say subscribe to. And let me show you another important thing is that inside of a function file, you do not want to use forward slash. Uh, the forward slash are just used in game. So you can tell the game when you're trying to type in a command instead of a message. That's all they're used for inside of the game. So inside of a function file, you do not want to use them or the command will not work. So make sure you, you do not use a forward slash when you're typing in commands. And you can type in any other command you want. So I'm going to have it summon in a firework. So I can type in summon. And like I said, Bridge will help you auto complete the command. So if you type in summon, it's going to give you a list of every mob or entity that you could summon in. Uh, but for this one, I want to have it summon in a firework. So I could just have it. I could just type in fireworks or and it's gonna help me auto complete it. So I could just click on that. It's gonna summon in the fireworks. So for this function file, uh, it's already done. This is all I want to add. But if you want to add more things to this, other commands, you could just keep going. Then all you want to do is just go to here where it says file and then save file and it's already done. But if you wanted to add more functions, uh, just go here again where it says new file go down and then click here where it says functions and for this one I'm going to show you a way that you can make kits so I'm going to call this one kit one and then just click create but you can give it whatever name you want so for this one I'm going to have it replace all, all the players armor with diamond armor so I could type in replace item and bridge will help me auto complete it and then entity and then at the closest player so at P and then and if you don't know commands, it's going to keep helping you out. So if I want to replace the chest, so slot armor chest, I could just click on this one. Then zero. And here I could choose whatever item I want the chest piece to be replaced with. So I'm going to have it give me a golden chest plate. And, and I also wanted to replace every single armor piece. So replace item, entity, the same command. FP and then slot armor feet. So this one's going to replace whatever I have in my feet. And then zero and then 
diamond underscore boots and I'm just gonna do the rest of these and I'll skip ahead so these are the commands that I typed into this function file so it's gonna replace the chest the feet the head the legs and whatever I have in the main hand and these are the items I'm gonna replace them with but you could also type in whatever command you want. You could also give a title. So whenever you give them that kit, it also gives them a, a title. Or you could have you could add any other command you want. Like I said, it's up to ten thousand different commands. And if you're done with this one, just click. Control S or File, Save File, and this one is done. Unless you, like I said, unless you want to add more. And let me show you one more example of another function that you can make. So again, new file and then functions. And for this one, I'm just gonna have it spawn in a bunch of mobs. So I'm just gonna call it mobs and then hit create and then summon and then Bridge will help you auto complete it. So just show you every mob that you could summon in. So I'm going to have it summon in a ghast and a bunch of other ones. I'm also just going to skip ahead and just add a bunch of them. These are all the mobs that I'm going to have it summon in and also going to have it give a title and play a sound. So you could, like I said, you could add any command. You can combine any commands you want inside of a function file. And then just I'm just going to save it. So file, save file. And that's it. Uh, well, your function files are already created. And if you're on Windows 10, uh, Bridge will automatically add the, the add-on to your game. But if you're not using Windows 10 and you want to export the add-on, what you could do is go here where it says package. And what this will do is that it will make this uh, behavior pack into an MC pack. So if you go down here, here you could copy the, the add-on you just made. So you could you can put this in your Android, iOS, Xbox, whatever you want, or you can just upload it to a different website. But like I said, if you're on Windows 10, then it's already going to be in your game. So let me show you this function that I just created. So once you're in the game, what you have to do is activate the function file. So just go into your add-ons and activate it. Once you have it activated, then just start your game. Once you're in the game and the add-on has been activated, then you use your function files. So for example, the first one I made was the one called message. So I'll just type it in exactly how I named it. It gives me a title, a subtitle, and something in the firework. You could also add this to a command block or activate it however you want. So I could type in function, then message here. And then just activate it however you want. It doesn't have to be like this. So it's a lot more simple than, than adding all these commands. And the other one was function kit1. And this will give me all the items and give me a title. So it gave me the sword and it also gave me all this armor. Whatever I added to that function file. And same thing with this one. You could also just place a command block. Type in function kit one and then and then just activate this however you want and it gives me the full kit it's a lot more simple i could uh, just place these kits wherever i want without having to add all these commands and let me show you the last function that i made so for this one it's going to be function and then mobs what this one will do is summon in a bunch of mobs and give me a title and play it also plays a sound all from one command so if i type in function mobs Summon in all of these, it played a sound and gave me a message. So you can use this for adventure maps or PvP, anything you want to use this for. And that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, just let me know.